Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. We've just met up. It's alright, Pumpkin. It's alright. That's a good girl. Oh no. We've just met up with Kendo. He's given us a key to a gate. I don't know if we're going into the RPD now, but... We'll see. Maybe I'm going this way. Yes, we're actually going this way. Oh, the music. It's so nostalgic. I'm guessing you're going to stay there until Claire arrives? No. Oh, no. This is a new area. Are you dead? Yes. Oh, listen to that music. It sounds so close to the original, it's unreal. I don't want to waste too many shotgun shells on zombos, so... Ooh. I'm going to stab you. Let's switch back to the handgun. I can hear the zombie outside. Oh, God, oh, damn it. I was trying to hide behind the wall. Probably should remember that there is, in fact, a dodge button. Hello? Anyone home? Ooh, newspaper. Radio, rac, radio, Raccoon Times Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays, and there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, a big statue above the entrance wobbles, like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Epic foreshadowing or what? <laughs> let's unlock these goodies. Ooh, explodey rounds. I will happily take those, thank you. Is there anything else? No. Thank you, Mr. Wiley. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's all rather dark here. What? Oh good, I'm so glad you're here. Oh no. Really? Oh god, I dodged right into that one. Fuck. Oh god. Oh, okay. That's why he wasn't coming down. 
Not now, Carlos. Jill, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed it. Me too. What the fuck is going on here? I am... Oh, that's not good. I am screwed. Come on, Jill, get up. <coughs> okay, cool, we're back here. First aid spray, thank you. Go a quick nosy round here, make sure I haven't missed anything. Any Mr. Charlies? What is nervous is, is being very polite and waiting. Oh look, there's the giant Mr. Bobblehead. I wonder what's going to happen after reading that newspaper. happened around here no not moon's donuts damn it the most careful roll. Oh no, I'll never get those donuts. Planted. You okay. Go. Go. Come on, forget about it. Come on. Let's get out of here. Go to the subway platform. First, I want to do an explore. Can't see any Mr. Charlie's around here. <sighs> Jesus, I don't like it with when he has a rocket launcher. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Oh, I try. What matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, now you'll be safe. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Don't trust your superiors, Carlos. I know Umbrella. You're not coming? is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bard. 
This isn't the last man out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going. Ahead. I'm not gonna die on you. Leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. <laughs> You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. So Nathaniel Barnes. You see, you're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. September 29th. So you don't really think you've been so crucial like part of the soul of life, do you? I have a done good authority. Uh, why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. What you think? <laughs> Oh, the civilians are dead. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just know they're gone. Come, he swept. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. I always knew you were an ass, but. Oh, shit, Mikhail. Get off my train, shit bird! We salute you, Mikhail. Escape from the city. Come with me. Follow me, trust me, and we will escape from the city. <laughs> you gotta make yourself laugh, you know. Ooh, where are we going? We're going to the RPD! Oh, it's been a while. Subway's gotta be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, man, she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. <laughs> So it's the same gate Claire and Leon come through, I, I imagine. Yes. All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Ah, oh, shit. Back at the RPD. Come on, man. Not you too. Marvin. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, shit. Shit, it's locked. Stay on the door. I got this fucker. Oh, Brad. Come get some. An unfortunate end. Sorry, Brad. These stars. It's open. That could be useful. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Alright, what have we got here? 
Need to do some rearranging. Carlos, take a look at this. Hold on, I have important things to do. Right, you there. You there. You at the bottom. Good. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for Bard. <laughs> now we're back at the RPD. So you know I'm doing an explore. Area looks clear. How much can we actually explore? Is it going to be like the original RE3? Yeah, a lot of it being sealed off. But that's fine. Ah, uh, the old line statue. Good future memories, because none of that has actually happened yet. Still locked. Anything up here? No. Okay. I hope we get to see Marvin a bit more. Go this All way. right, you want me to keep out? I'll keep out. <laughs> ID security protocols. September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care of using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. A card issued to RPD officers, Special Tactics and Rescue Service Alpha Team, Rear Security, Brad Vickers. Brad was a tough zombie, it took him a f quite a few rounds to go down. The fuck? What the hell was that thing? Oh shit! Liquors in our E3. Couldn't have been a zombie. Oh, shit. This is so cool. And the floor's dry, there's been no... I didn't stick around. Ah, here we go. You stuck there, dude? Okay. Oh, so now you can climb through. Cowbag. 
Right. Big, warm RPD welcome. Yep. Oh, you're not chained up yet. No map on the wall. Ooh, I'm gonna take a flash grenade. And you're not broken. TV sh stations are still running. Copy. There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. <coughs> I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. of you are in here. Jesus. You're still not dead. But you're definitely dead. <laughs> I'm not falling for that one again, friend. zombies there. That's still sealed off. Okay. Come on Brad, it's still gonna be useful to me. Scope for the assault rifle. Thank you, Brad. That is actually kind of useful. Oh, very nice. I like the assault rifle. the same. 9, 15, 7. <laughs> it is. Ooh. I'm getting the fanny pack that Leon or Claire should be getting. Never mind. No, can't interact with that. Ooh, we should... Are there any uh, Mr. Charlie's? No, oh, come on. What's going on? Combin, thank you. Arrest report. Name Rodney Gray, occupation unemployed, former electrician, charges unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a timed detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages, stages of completion. Subject was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. 
Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand the corpse's attack from the shadows? A storm's coming but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shriek fit, shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note. Due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of the doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appeared to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. Interrogation Officer West, West Drucker. Ah, I wonder if that was the bomb that Leon or Claire used in the on the third floor. Shit, locked. Uh, of course it is. That would be too useful to us to be able to go back in there. Come on. Get your head straight so I can shoot it. Jesus. That was unacceptably bad. Could you like stay dead? I kind of fucked up shooting cops. If there's any consolation, Carlos, they're not exactly cops anymore. Wait, that's the Rizzy Two save thing. Oh, now that is that is. That is very much appreciated. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heart resist heat resistant third number combination safe moved from Stars office second floor to West office first floor. Convo is left nine, right fifteen, left seven. Please change the con console ASAP upon receipt. Uh, we already know that one. If cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Um, ditch those. Still don't. Still need Brad's card. That's good. Uh, just check the times. So we're going to end this episode here. It's been a very exciting moment. The music is so good and nostalgic. And being back at the RPD, finding out how Marvin got bit, and to find out it was Brad of all people. Oh my god. I'm loving this. I cannot wait to see the ending. But I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>